Hello guys, in this video I'd like to explain why I think ZBrush has the best uh, extrude tool and uh, I believe other programs should copy ZBrush and have something similar to this. And also guys, be sure to check out my new course, Redesign and Remake, where I'll show you how you can either faithfully recreate old game assets or give them a fresh spin. Take old characters and give them your, your own unique look. So, link is in the description. So I know that uh, 3ds Max has a Smart Extrude and uh, Blender has something as well, but I think if more programs copied what ZBrush did here, I think it would just be better. So I'm going to go ahead and explain. So I'm just going to move this and I'm going to go ahead and do Mirror in the World. All right, so one thing that makes ZBrush's Extrude tool very nice, the Z Modeler, is how it snaps the extrusion. So for example, if I go ahead and select this and I extrude, and you know, you can right click, make sure it's set to Q Mesh. If I now extrude this, notice how that amazing snapping behavior kicks in. And uh, this, this just kind of creates really nice uh, details. So we get the benefit of having this kind of a lopsided result. But if we just keep going, uh, we'll get something like that. And we can right click here and this, there's more settings we can have here. And uh, right here in the center, for example, all you need to do is just extrude that and we get this nice kind of a snapping behavior. You can see no bad to polish, just nice snappy behavior. And also very nice to go through the mesh. So if I just left click now, it's going to go all the way through. So I think this is a very nice feature and I think more programs should uh, should copy ZBrush in this regard. If you think this behavior is a little bit strange, if you think it snaps too much, you can simply right click here and set there to be no attraction. And now, as you notice, we're not getting that strange behavior. But it may be nice in some situations. So as you can see, just very nice, clean results. And I believe other programs could definitely benefit from uh, copying uh, ZBrush's uh, extrude tool here, QMesh tool.
episode, guys. I hope you enjoy using ZBrush's extrude tool. Thank you for watching and take care.